Let's look at the code now. Download the zip file for your kit. And once you do that, you will have access to these two files plus that folder. And if I double click inside of these, you have access to libraries and the code for the projects provided in, in the kit. So libraries that you will need to interface with all the sensors will make your life easier when you're programming and the code, you have access to the code for all the projects. We're going to look at lesson number 18 and you have the library that you need to install and the code for the ultrasonic sensor. So if you double click on that one, it will open an Arduino development environment. And the first thing that we're going to do is to make sure that you install the library. So you go to sketch, include library, and you're going to include that zip library. You press, go and find the folder where you downloaded that zip. Press open. And if you go back to include library, if everything goes fine, you're going to find the name new ping. That means that the library was successfully installed. So let's go over the code. You call the library new ping. We're using pin 12 to connect to the trigger pin, pin 11 to get the echo back. And we are saying here that the maximum distance is 200 in centimeters. Then this is just a particular thing on programming. Again, you don't need to know how to program for this class. You just create an, this object called sonar part of this library new ping and you're passing the pins so pin 12 pin 11 and the maximum distance then you have your famous setup setting up the serial port and then you enter your loop waits half a second and then it calls that same sonar it has a function called ping and then the beauty of libraries is this one notice that the original signal that we want to reproduce is something like this but this is being done inside of the library we just call this function and it's going to return the size of that pulse in microseconds microseconds and then we're just dividing by those round trip that they probably have again it's probably the number 58 in centimeters and then it prints then because it's a loop goes back waits half a second and repeats repeats the problem the it repeats the loop because we have code one of the requirements is to do flow charts so let's see the flow chart for this program we start with our start then we have our setup which is a simple instruction here serial begin so i can say start serial port put some color here so you guys know that this is part of your setup after that it's done we will enter our loop in our loop we are going to do a wait of 0 0.5 seconds going to do the same thing here going to say that this part belongs to the loop so we know is that code wait sec um, half a second then we send ping after sending ping we are printing and converting ping time so I'm going to say print ping convert ping time and it's going to print centimeters I can put all these inside of the same process or individual rectangles it's totally fine after this is done, what happens goes back and he loops back. To your loop. 
Oh, sorry, deleted that one. And that's pretty much it right now. Simple and um, easy to design your flow chart for this code. Okay, now we are in good shape to deploy the code inside of the Arduino and start playing around with the system. So you can see here I have the ultrasonic sensor connected with wires to the Arduino and then the USB cable to the computer. I'm making sure that the ultrasonic sensor is pointing up because there is an angle um, of detection, a detection angle. If we put them flat or kind of aligned with the table, that angle might bounce on the table and give you false positives and we don't want that. So uh, once everything is connected together, just again make sure that go to tools that you have your board connected and it identifies the board. Next step is to compile the code. Compilation takes a little bit of time the first time that you do it. If you don't have any problems, now we can deploy. When you deploy the code, it compiles and then it uploads. And then how do I know that this is up and running? So remember, we are initializing what it's called a serial port. That is on the top corner here, something called serial monitor. If you press every half a second, you will see the sensor printing information. Right now, I am uh, pointing the ultrasonic sensor to the top. So probably I told the minimum range was 20 centimeters, I believe. So now I can use a piece of paper here put it closer oh here you go I'm not going to edit this I'm going to show that accidents happen so I have five volts now so let's put this guy and getting closer and you see that I'm getting I think the minimum is not 20 centimeters 200 centimeters and getting closer 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 or further away and detects pretty well. So notice I'm using a block instead of my hand. The surface area also, um, the type of surface area that you have um, affects the performance of your sensor. But another interesting aspect here, going back to the angle, is notice that if I put um, kind of the paper to the side, eventually triggers the sensor and it gives you false positives over there. This is the drawbacks or the limitations that you have with ultrasonic sensors they are not directive they have that radius that angle that detection angle 